swing speed. Is that something that you struggle with? Um, you know, Bryson DeChambeau, very, very fast swing speeds and people doing this swing speed training stuff. So if it's something that you find yourself struggling with and wishing that you could just swing a little bit faster, then that was me. I, I was there kind of four or five years ago feeling like I had a little bit more left in the tank. Have you ever felt like that? This is going to be the first of a, at least another one or two videos about picking up speed in the most simple way possible, but then also some more advanced stuff. I'll do another video on, on some proper training schemes that I use. But I just initially want to just show you the impact that just a little bit can have taking you from down here where you feel like you might be to up here more where you should be. Number one, less warm up because if you don't warm up, even with a little bit of swing speed training, you could hurt yourself. I've got a slightly dodgy lower back, so let's do a bit of warm up. Okay, so for this test, use this PRGR swing speed monitor. So this will just track your swing speed. Um, if you were hitting the ball, it will also track carry distance and total distance, um, smash factor. I think that's about it. I'm not going to use these. I'll do a separate video. I'll put the link up there somewhere on the super speed training. So I'm just going to do three swings and then I'm going to show you what happens when you try and swing out of your boots because swing speed is a neurological thing. It's your brain tethering and capping how fast you swing. So just a really quick before and then the after and we'll use this to show you the difference and then give it a try and let me know in the comments how it's worked out for you. Fire this up. Dead batteries. One moment. Okay. Try this again. There we go. Okay. Make sure you use a glove. Didn't want the club to go flying over the fence. Okay, 109. On 10. Okay. 114. Now, that last one certainly felt like I was kind of at my limit, but having done this before, I know that my limit's much further than that. And that's what you try this, will train your brain instantly that you can go further. So let's see. All right, let's take my setup. I can do a few extra things here to help promote this a little bit I will say just in case anyone comments that I'm cheating or whatever so I will make sure I've got a nice wide stance not like that's ridiculous but you know that kind of width that's a good width I'm gonna make sure I've got a long takeaway which I was doing anyway and I'm really gonna try and emphasize getting my hips through and clearing out the way as fast as I can but critically I don't care how I swing I'm just trying to latch in Let's go. Let's do three. Straight away, 116. And 17. 115. Okay. But they're faster. So now we've done three as fast as I can. Just going to have a 60 second break. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to see with three more if I can beat that 117 that I just did. Time's up. So let's do three. I just need one of them to go more than 117. Odd 19. 119. And 120. that really mean for your game well you know 
the speed increase we've seen there, what that translates to is probably 10 to 20 yards of more distance with your driver, which is great. Who doesn't want more distance? I can tell you, I, you know, I can show you from in videos in the future that the increased swing speed, it doesn't necessarily impact your dispersion. Okay, um, it doesn't me. I'm, I'm, as, I'm as bad swinging faster as I am slow. It really doesn't matter. What it means further down your bag is if you're getting 20 yards further off the tee, that's about one and a half clubs shorter for your next shot, isn't it? Think about it. Like between irons for me, it's about 12 yards, 13 yards, something like that. So if I'm hitting 20 yards further off the tee, and if you're hitting that sort of number, even if it's 10 yards, that's still going to be a club, club and a half, less that you've got to hit into the green. That's surely got to mean better golf. Even if you're in the rough a little bit, you're still that much further up and you've got that much less club. So you're going to have more chance of hitting the green. It's properly worthwhile. So give it a go and let me know in the comments. Have you, if you've tried it, did you see an improvement? What's it kind of done for your game? Has it improved? Or have you already tried it and you've thought not much of it? But just let me know in the comments. If you're watching and you're not subscribed like so very many of you probably are watching at this point are, then again, consider subscribing because there'll be more content like this on how to pick up distance and all the other stuff I do, the golf ball reviews. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.